The next thing that you need to consider when you are going to create an interactive classroom is how you're going to compile all of the images to create the one cohesive room. This means that you are looking for a background, you might be looking for furniture items that you are going to use within the classroom for hyperlinks. This could be books, it could be toys or manips that are also used as loose parts. It just depends on what you want to compile into one room that is going to be inviting for your students, but also allow for them to achieve all of the learning that you are hoping for them to acquire through the one space. I always start with my background. When I'm looking for my background, there are two options that I tend to use. So I wanna show you those two options in this video very quickly. The first option is right in Google Slides. They offer that you can pull up the search engine for Google. So you go insert, image, search the web. And when you go to search the web, just consider that some of the wording is going to be very specific. Just like if you're searching in Google for a website, I'm going to try empty room background as I'm starting out with the background. And I want for it to be an empty space that I'm going to utilize. As you can see, there are a lot of different options that are going to come up just from doing a quick search. One thing to consider, even though we are in education and we have the ability to use different images and videos or activities for educational purposes, we do need to, need to give attribution back to the creator for whatever we are using. So this is that you're giving the title, the creator's name, you're linking back to the image. This can be done in Works Cited or put it in the speaker's notes underneath the classroom that you've created. An easy way to find out who has done the work is you click on the magnifying glass in the lower right hand corner of the picture you're interested in using. What happens is it brings it up in a bigger form and you can see up in the left hand corner here there is a link that you're able to click to retrieve this information and just double check where you're pulling the picture from. So another option for finding images it's going to show you where it's from, what's been created, so that you can properly give the attribution. And you would just click insert and it would put the image in. One site that I like to use the most is Pixabay. So Pixabay is a search engine for images and I find that it is really easy to use. You can download the images so you have them in a file for later and there's a wide range of options for you to check out. So as you can see, different rooms, different colors, some have items in them, others are just plain. So I'm going to pick this white one to show. Once I've clicked it, you do free download. Click download again, indicate that you are able to download as you click the I am not a robot. Okay, right here, credit is not required, but I like to copy the link so that I'm able to place it within my Google slide deck. To add in the background, and this can be done even outside of the master slides, function, click background to change and choose the image. You may have to go to your download file. With a Mac, I'm able to pull right from the browser once I've downloaded it. Okay, so first things first, you've already found your background and you're able to start adding in furniture and other items that you want to in your classroom. Now that you have your background set up, you are going to want to add in any of the items to your room to make it look like a complete classroom or space for students to access activities and lessons. This can be the furniture or manips or books that you're hoping for them to be hyperlinked to. I, again, look for anything and I put transparent at the end to hopefully avoid finding anything that has the white background. Here's an example of a whiteboard that I often use in my classrooms. It doesn't have the white background. So I can resize it and set it up in the room anywhere I would like. Okay, but when I go to look for things like bookshelf and I type empty because I don't want any other books on it or items on it. So empty bookshelf, again, transparent at the end so that I'm hoping to avoid having a white square around the image. You can see that it comes up with a lot of clip art options. The same thing will happen if I go into my Google search and I make sure that I'm looking at only Creative Commons licenses, which you can search easily if you go to Images, Tools, and it's another filter option. So when I click on that, again, the images that come up are clip art, which I don't want clip art in my room. So I'm going to remove that. I just need to be aware that I have to give the proper attribution to individuals who have created it and make sure I'm looking for proper options when I'm doing that. 
So the options are more realistic when I look at this. I can quickly scroll through and pick a bookshelf that I might want to use. When I'm doing this, if I click on that item, you can see that the background is white. If I save this image to my computer and I open it, the background is white. If I pull that into my room, it's going to have the white square around it. Really quickly, a way that I like to resolve this, and I do this with any item that I'm adding into a room that might have a background, is I go to remove.bg. This website is amazing for removing backgrounds from any of the work that you are trying to do. So once I'm in here, I can drag and drop the dresser that I want to use or the bookshelf that I want to use. And what happens is it just removes the white from around it and makes it transparent. I then download this image and go back into the classroom that I'm creating and simply add in the bookshelf where I would like for it to sit. So you can do this with any item that you were looking for, lamps, desks, chairs. Again, remember that you need to go back and get the proper information for citing the items that you're using, but remove.bg is a lifesaver when you are trying to pull together images to create your classroom.